All right, guys, episode number 255, 255 episodes. In this video, I'm going to share with you 20 items that sold at a buy it now price. I was doing auctions for the longest time, decided to mix things up, utilize the store that I've had and listing about 15 items per day. I've missed one day in the 26 days so far with listing. First one is 13 Stephen Diggs, Stefan Diggs, rookies. I did promoted listing for this. So it would be shipped, or bought and shipped before they got exited from the playoffs. So glad I did the promoted listings. I think I did like 8%. So 8% of 39, well, five bucks in promoted listing fees. Kevin Mitchell autographed this sold the same night that I listed it. So it's numbered one out of 30, out of 2014 Tops Tribute. Next up, we have a Willie Mays autograph, in-person autograph. Got this maybe a year ago. The auto does look good to me. I originally had it listed for 89. I thought this one would sit for a while. So I took an offer of 65. It did have about 14 watchers. Colin Kaepernick, Gem Mint 10. I don't have many 10s. It's 2011 Tops Legend. I think I got it for like 10 bucks at the uh, Probstein or no, PWCC auctions when it first started. Here we have six autograph and jersey cards in manufactured patches, 39. We got 10 San Francisco Giant autos. This one right here goes for about 45, so probably could have done better if I would have taken that out, sold that individually, and then sold the rest for 29 bucks, but it is what it is. Positive feedback delivered safely, we're good. These went for $15 each. I think I had them listed for like 279. The buyer said I'll offer you 240, which is $15 per, and that made sense. So it's a 1999 Sports Illustrated Greats, the game autos. This buyer bought two things. So bought five of the back cards and then a Chicago Cubs lot. This Evolve card is pretty cool from 2000. We had to go on the computer and type in the code. So I won that card and then a Jeff Bagwell autographed jersey as well. Bo Bichette listed this for 149 I think, and got an offer of 109 So it's number to 15, Rookie Auto to Luminaries. You're at eight New York Yankees cards. Some of those cards I just got in a recent mail day, but well, four and 450 a card. We got 10 autographs. So we got Jalen Rose, Stefan Marbury, Andre Miller, Damon Sadamar, Michael Finley. 25 Tom Glavin rookies. He's got bought up the same night, I believe. Here we have 15 Space Jam Michael Jordan cards. I had this listed for 49. The, the buyer offered 30, and I decided to take that. This one surprised me. So $149 for four Minnesota Twins schedules, pocket schedules. Uh, this one right here, it didn't have a year anywhere on this. So I had to go to like a Tuesday in August when the Twins were playing the Yankees. I Googled it. And I was able to figure out that it was 1962. I double checked another game, again, 1962. So this one actually sold individually about a year and a half ago. I don't have a Terapeak login, so I couldn't see what it sold for. So I took a chance. I think I had it originally listed for $89 and then last minute decided to bump it up because I thought it would sit for six months. It sat for one day. So I'm surprised with that. Michael Jordan Gallery of Heroes custom card. So somebody made 150 of these, hand numbered them. I would have accepted $10. I got it in a collection, but 39 bucks. It's 25 different Michael Jordan cards. I made a total of seven or eight of these lots. And this is the first one that sold. I have sold another one that I sent out this morning. Brooklyn Dodgers auto jersey lot. So Duke Snyder, Pee Wee Reese, Johnny Padres. It's a 30 card set of 1997 Michael Jordan Upper Deck Tribute. So these were in packs. We had 30 cards in a pack. I got five of those recently. And four out of the five, they were all sticking to each other. So I tried to pry them apart and there was white flaking on all four of the sets. This one was good. 
now I got to figure out what to do with the it ended up being about 120 cards with flaking. I can probably still get a quarter a card if I put it in a lot. I just got to make sure in the title to put read so they know they're getting ones that have the white flakes on it. I did see on Twitter that evening that if you put cards in the freezer, let them sit overnight, they're easier to pull apart and they don't have paper loss. So unfortunately I was, I made that mistake about three hours prior to seeing that information. Hopefully someone that's watching can benefit from that information. And the last one I'm gonna share with you today, I'll make another what sold video probably on Monday when the kids are at school. And I also have a mail day that I'll do eventually as well. Last one that sold Don Maddenly, two PSA eight cards. So $55 plus tax, good deal, I'll take it. I did, I packaged up five different orders this morning, a bunch of overnight sales. And right as I was gonna leave, someone spent $700, $700 in my store, because I had a 10% off coupon, so I think that expires, is it Friday at five maybe? So $700 order. One of the cards had to go to the authenticator since it's over 250. And the rest of the cards I put in a medium flat rate box. So here's what's sold in this video. I'll make another what's sold video on Monday. Sometime next week, I'll do a mail day video. Thanks for watching. Happy collecting. We'll see you later.